Having trouble being sing-songy when you record your voiceovers? I've got the cure, and it's coming up next on this week's Dewey's Directive. Hi, I'm Bill DeWeese from voiceoverrevolution.com. And last night I had um, one of my voiceover students ask me, why is it that I revert to a sing-songy style of voiceover when I'm recording? And my answer was this, and, and pay careful attention because really this gets to the root of how we communicate and how we're perceived as communicators or not perceived as communicators as voice talent. And that is the focus well, your mental focus as you're reading the script. If your focus is on the words and how you sound, uh, the inevitable result is that as you listen to yourself, you'll begin to become sing-songy so that you can hear the own inflection of your voice. But let me ask you a question. The last time you spoke to a friend, a spouse, a neighbor, maybe your best friend, your children, a parent, um, were you focused on how you said the words, where you inflected, where you emphasized, how long you paused, how quickly you spoke, or how slowly you delivered your message? No, because the message was delivered with an intent, not a style, but an intent. Your job, your your um, uh, intention was to make sure they understood what you wanted to communicate to them. It's really no different in voiceovers. What happens so often is that we tend to get the cart before the horse. And this is one of the most common mistakes of especially newer voice talent, but even those who have done it for quite a while, because it's so easy to to revert to this. And when I say the cart before the horse, meaning we focus on the things that are really not even secondary, but tertiary. They're, They're the least important. Things like where I pause. And don't misunderstand, these things are important. There are things that clients will want that you have to be able to deliver. But if you get the intent right, where you pause, where you emphasize, um, will become will become less of an issue because you will intuitively, as you get in touch with the story, as you understand the intent of the story, you will intuitively deliver it in a way that connects more closely with the audience. So shift your focus from the words to the story. In other words, what's the intent? What is it you're trying to communicate? What is it you want your audience to feel? And if you can get that part right, that's 90% of the equation. The other things, uh, pacing or where you pause or where you emphasize words or how you inflect, that's the other 5 to 10% of the, equa- of the equation. So redirect your focus and really revolutionize your reads. I hope you find this video helpful. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below to your right in the corner there where it says Bill DeWeese. And uh, for those of you watching this before November of 2016, don't forget that uh, Dave Fenoy, uh, who I just greatly admire as a voice talent, who's done some amazing work out in Los Angeles, uh, not only in commercial and audiobook and narration, but also animation and he is a real superstar voiceover in the area of video games and he'll be joining me for a live two-day event uh, in the chicagoland area november 5th and 6th you can get all the information and register at voiceoverrevolutionevent.com thanks i'll talk to you soon